Alright guys, so let's talk about Horror Express that I found at a Goodwill for 25 cents. Which is so cool whenever I find horror movies like this at a Goodwill because horror is one of those VHS's that genres of VHS's that are harder to find. So I think whenever I find one, that's really cool. And one that I have not seen either. Um, horror Express I've wanted to see for a while because... I wanted to see for a while because it has Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee in it. Another reunion with them. Uh, and I know they did other horror movies besides Dracula, but I thought it was cool just the idea alone of them two together again in another type of movie that's not Dracula. Uh, because I haven't seen many of their... Like, I've seen a lot, some of the Dracula movies, but I haven't seen, like, a lot of their other stuff um, from this time period. So I really did enjoy that. Um, now, Horror Express, the basic story of this is that uh, Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee are on this train, um, and they have this contained thing in the, in the train, and then it gets let out, and what it is is it's like a creature that goes on board killing people by looking at them, and then their eyes bleed, and then they, their eyes turn white. Um, and that's really cool, and I, and I know it's been done, that has been done again and again after this, but I thought that that was a really cool idea, and I really enjoyed what they did with that, and I liked how the way, the way that they, um, the way that they did it is a little cheesy because it was from 1972, um, because all it does is, like, the creature will look at somebody, and then it cuts back to them, and their eyes are already bleeding. And it's not going to show it actually, like, them actually bleeding. They're just, it's just already on their eyes. So, that is cheesy in that aspect, but I still thought it was effective. And I did like that part overall. And I liked the creature, too. I thought the creature was pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to keep this spoiler-free besides that. That's, like, the basic plot of it, but... But honestly, like, for a while, the movie the movie is good. It's a good movie. I, I did enjoy it. But I thought that it's one of those slow burns that I didn't enjoy as much. Like, like it just depends on what kind of slow burn it is. Because I do love slow burns. But this one, I don't know. Like, for example, I just watched House of the Devil. And I just reviewed that. And House of the Devil, I thought, was more interesting overall like it didn't have as many lagging moments and in this one I felt like there were moments of lagging for me personally like I just thought it wasn't as interesting all the way through but for the most part it was and then we get to the ending which I'll keep spoiler free because again this is one of those horror movies that I feel like a lot of people haven't seen so the ending is awesome I think that that made the movie for me um, despite it being kinda slow and not in a way that I enjoyed I still enjoyed it overall but the ending really solidified what I felt about it because the ending was awesome Th that was a twist that I did not not expect coming even though they foreshadow it earlier in the movie but that twist was so awesome and so unique for this time. Like, I thought that was a really cool twist to put that in a horror movie. I really like that a lot. Um, so overall, I did really like Horror Express. It did a good job of being this fun, this just really fun horror movie that, like, has two great leads, and the other person is good, too. Uh, Telly Savalas? I, I don't know who that is, but, like, she's good, too. Um, or he, I don't know, actually. I don't know, to be honest. Oh no, I guess I guess Sylvia Tortosa is the girl probably. Um but I thought that the cast was all pretty good. They were all solid and Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing were great as usual and I thought that the effects while being cheesy are still still work and are still effective, but you can just tell now the trickery that they did with this, which I guess makes it a tad dated, but it's not like it makes it bad in any way. It's just you can just tell it's kind of like, oh, this came out in the 70s. It's kind of obvious. But Still, overall, this was a fine horror movie, and I thought that the it just had a little bit of a pacing issue for me, personally. It was just one of those slow burns that I didn't love. But I did still really like this movie. I thought it was really effective and solid, and the performances were good. Um, the twist at the end really made the movie for me. That was one of those make-or-break situations, and I thought that worked really well. So I really did enjoy Horror Express overall. So, yeah, Horror Express was really awesome. Um... So thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me down below what you think of Horror Express. 
if you have seen it, and thank you so much for watching.